when you read about Jesus in the New Testament, you'll discover that Jesus talks about money more than just about any other subject. Do you suppose it's because God knows just how difficult it is for us to let go of our money? It seems like such a simple thing, especially since we know that giving to the church really does help people in need. But the reality is that many of us struggle. There are plenty of concerns that hold us back and rationalizations that we use to justify ourselves. So I thought today we should stop in and talk with some people about their giving to the church and see if you can relate to any of their struggles. Good morning. Good morning, sir. My name is Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor of Arise Church here in Pinckney. And I was wondering, do you attend church? Oh, our, of course I attend church. Me and all me hearties. And if you don't mind me asking, sir, do you ever give gifts to the church? Oh, of course you give gifts, your worshipness. You see there, Padre, you gotta keep the big guy happy with a bit of the booty we take in. You see, we think of it a bit like protection money to keep our enemies at bay. Or... Okay. Hey, well, thank you, sir. Thank you, Padre. Have a great day. Interesting neighborhood. They sure love their white doors. Oh, forgive me. Hello. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor of Arise Church here in Pinckney. And I was wondering, uh, ma'am, do you attend church? Well, as often as I can, I'm pretty busy with all my little wonderful children, you know. Hey, you little monster! Be good! Well, Sorry about that. that. <laughs> that's great. Do you mind if I ask whether you ever donate? Oh, my husband and I certainly give, but I sure hate when there's something extra going on. You know, person has to keep a little hidden around the house for when you have a need. Seems like every penny we get goes into the offering plate, but... Yet there's always another poor person or pet project that needs funding. I'm doing the best I can, you know. I'm, I'm sure you are, ma'am. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. All right, you little monsters! Yeah, what do you want? Make it quick. Uh, I, I will, sir. Sorry to bother you. Good morning. My name is Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor at Arise Church here in Pinckney. And I was wondering, sir, do you attend church anywhere? Attend church? You mean like actually go and listen to the service? No, I'm way too busy. But I'm, I give lots of money to my local church every so, year. So you do give. Well, that's just wonderful. I'm sure that your church appreciates it. Well, I don't know about all that, but hey, better to give it to the church than those buggers at the IRS, right? I mean, I kind of look at the church like it's another kid. It's an extra child to deduct. It works out well for me, and if it helps out the church, well, I guess that's okay, too. But hey, I really got to run. Well, uh, uh, thank you very much for your time. Good morning, sir. Can you help me? Yes, my name is Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor of uh, Rise Church here in Pinckney. Uh -huh. And I was wondering, do you attend church anywhere? Yeah, sometimes, you know, when things ain't going quite the way I think they should. Well, one time I had to quit the church because, well, never mind then. What? Well, that that's good. Do you mind if I ask whether you give to the church? Oh, yeah, sure. I like giving to church. But sometimes, you know, when the person has to let them people know how you feel about things, and the best thing I've found you do is just hold a little money back from altar and plate. Eventually, they come around to my line of thinking. Well, uh, thank you for your time. No problem. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, sir. My name is Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor of Arise Church here in Pinckney, and I was wondering, do you attend church? Oh, absolutely. Never miss it. Never well, miss it. that's good. Do you mind if I ask whether you give financially or tithe to the church? Oh, absolutely. I've got it down to a science. A science? Can I ask you what you mean? Some of my congregation would love to know. Oh, well, first you have to ask yourself, is tithing really supposed to be 10%? I mean, is that net or gross? For me, I use the net. Then I tithe our tax return unless I have to pay. Then I deduct it from the tithe. They claim the kids as deductions, and then their college tuition. Plus, we have one in a Christian school. Then by the time I add that we give to missionaries and depreciate the Bible we bought last year, I've got it right now. The way I have it figured, 
Hey, what's the least we can give and still pass? Well, you certainly have thought of, put a lot of thought into it. Thanks for your time. Hey, no problem. Always like to educate the masses. Uh, nobody home. Hi, good morning. Can I help you? Yes, good morning, ma'am. My name is Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor of Arise Church here in Pinckney. And I was wondering, do you uh, attend church? Oh, I'm always there on Sunday supporting my church. Boy, that's a re refreshing attitude. Do you mind if I ask when your offering is collected. Do you give to the church? Oh, I go oh, all the time. Isn't it obvious? I mean, look at my house and the cars we drive. If we didn't tithe so much, we'd have a nicer house and we'd have nicer things and newer cars and go on great vacations. But we have to do our part. After all, someone has to. Well, thank you for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Have a wonderful day. Hi, may I help you? Yes, good morning, sir or madam. My name is Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor of Arise Church, and I was wondering, do you attend church anywhere? You can't tell? Oh. Okay, I'll bite. Do you mind if I ask if you tithe to your church? My family gives virtually everything we have that's not absolutely necessary to sustain our meager existence to the Lord. You know, Pastor, Someday they'll all get their just desserts for not being more spiritual, but you never have to worry about us. We're just grateful to scrape by day to day, and if the Lord demands constant sacrifice, then we are willing to give. Sure, it's hard a lot of the time, and we know we give more than most, but when I look at all those unworthy people out there just waiting for damnation, well, I just feel good. Okay, then. I appreciate your time. Have a beautiful day. Sir, my name's Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor at Arise Church here in Pinckney, and I was wondering, do you attend church anywhere? Attend church? I am the church. Got my own cable access show and everything. Perhaps you've seen it on cable. It's called, put your money in the offering plate and wait for the cash to rain down from heaven. Uh, thank you. I've heard enough already. You have a blessed day. Hey, Steve, how are you, man? How are you? Good. Hey, I've been around to your neighbors, mm -hmm. and uh, I've been talking to them about tithing and giving, and they seem really nice and, you know, maybe generous people, but I still don't think they really get the point of it all. What, how do you feel about giving and tithing? Well, well, Don, I think that tithing is an act of worship. Everything we have is God's, and we're just the temporary caretakers. What a privilege to be able to give some time, treasure, and talents back to him to be used for his honor. You know, sometimes I think words like tithing hold too much legalistic baggage for people, and yet it's just too limiting to call it giving. You know, Paul summarized it best when he said, Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 